Got darker green, and as those winds start shifting more out of the south, that's going to boost that opportunity of seeing more of that moisture and that heat in our atmosphere that is going to make it feel a bit uncomfortable this afternoon. But also, uh, same thing for your Saturday. This morning, though, you're good to go. If you want to go for a run, it's going to feel great out there. By the time we get to into the afternoon, it does start to get a bit toasty to where it is going to be. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy for you to sweat it out, may even get to be too hot as temperatures rise into the 90s, and it will likely feel more like the mid to upper 90s. But this morning, looking fantastic for any of those outdoor activities. Today, highs are going to be right around 92. It will be humid out there, and that 92 is likely going to feel more like 95, 96 degrees. And then as we head into tonight, we're going to keep it pretty warm out there. A few clouds are mixing in. Temperatures will be feeling a bit more on the warm but also muggy side heading into tomorrow morning. So just be mindful, a little bit of a difference, and that's primarily because those southerly winds are going to continue ushering in. We're moving through a warm front today and into tomorrow, and that's going to allow for some room, more of that gulf uh, air to come in ahead of another front that could bring us some rain chances for your Saturday. Now, tomorrow does not look to be a washout. We're not looking at a heavy amount of rainfall, but there will be an opportunity to see some spotty to isolated showers and storms, especially afternoon and into your evening. That is going to cool us down, bringing in more comfortable air just in time for your Sunday. So here we are through Friday. We are seeing a few clouds, but it is going to stay primarily dry. We're watching a system out to our north and west that's gonna start creeping in as early as Saturday morning. You may see a pop-up shower in the morning, but for the most part, any rain that does come our way is likely to impact us in the second part of your Saturday. So Saturday afternoon, as we start to see more heat, more humidity, that's when that line's gonna start shooting through. It's really not showing anything super organized or prominent, but as it gets mixed into this heat and humidity, I do think those heavier showers, potentially a few thunderstorms, could be likely Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Then we'll begin drying out and bringing in more comfortable air for your Sunday and Monday. But we do it all over again. More heat, humidity, and storm chances as we get closer to your 4th of July.